Let's talk lake house. You ready to talk lake house, Henry? Yeah. What are you scared about? Falling. You ain't gonna fall. Henry, how long ago did we get that lake house? 10 years. 10 years? I think it was like two years ago. Okay. I love the water. We love skiing, hunting, fishing, all that stuff. So we've always wanted a little camp on the lake. So a couple years, one popped up available on Lake Claiborne, and we bought it. Don't stretch my shirt. I hate that, bro. Hate it. Hmm. You want me to stretch your shirt? Huh? <laughs> no, this is my favorite shirt. <laughs> uh, we are a which, which way are you going? Boom! Nice. All right, Henry, you need to get in the shower. Okay. Wash up good. Get all the under, yeah, those parts. We ended up getting that little camp on the lake. We really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. The first year was a great project house. I remember in the spring, I found some old barn wood. It had a lot of paint on it, and so I planed a lot of the paint off and uh, put it up on the ceiling, uh, and that was one of the first videos I did. The ceiling turned out great. That was in the living room. We fixed up the bathroom. We pulled out the tubs and uh, just decorated, painted. I put up a, a mantle. Did a lot of cool stuff in there. Used it a ton the first year, a little bit less the second year, and then this past year we just didn't use it much. Things have just gotten very busy for us. Shooting that pilot, which may end up being a show, and just a lot of other interests. It just ended up we didn't use it as much. Henry and Tiff and I made a lot of great memories in that place. My brother came and we, we did a video there. Uh, we got a nice pontoon boat. I mean, that, that place really served some great purposes and, and kind of got us out there and we know we love that. But the front half is a single wide trailer and the back is a pier and beam home kind of added on later. And it just was kind of something that I wasn't sure I wanted to hang on to long term. Right before we were shooting the pilot, I went with Richard to look at this house on Lake Darbone. So they said it was on an island. So we were headed up to the river and uh, decided to just tag along with Richard. And we went through this house looking at it with a couple who wanted to buy it and kind of remodel it. And after walking through, it was apparent that it was going to take more work than that couple was interested in, in tackling. But I saw an absolute gem just waiting to be polished. It's actually halfway to the river where we remodel all those camps and do a lot of that river work. Uh, and it just made sense to kind of switch lakes, basically. That's kind of what was in the back of my mind. So after a lot of consideration, we ended up putting the old camp up for sale. And I think that's in the process of getting the contract, so hopefully that sells. I talked to Richard for a while about what all could be done about fixing up this island camp. Our concrete patio, we're building a giant deck out at the island. Yeah. This thing was just incredible. There's no other place like it in Louisiana, at least that I've seen. There's no other place like it, certainly on the lake. Uh, and it was just one of those things that you don't get an opportunity to come across very often. And when that opportunity is there, you just sort of have to take it. Now the house obviously needs some work. It's kind of like this funky fun house. The people that used to live there had nine children, so a lot of the bedrooms are small, almost kind of dormitory style. Uh, but it's just on an absolutely beautiful piece of property. It's almost two acre little peninsula off of another peninsula. So that was the other thing I learned about a lake house is that if you don't have time to use it a lot, it's probably best to get in the camp with someone else. And obviously Richard, who is an expert builder, is not a bad partner to be in on this type of thing. So we put an offer on the house and we got it. And over the next few months, we're going to clean it out and basically redo it from the inside out. We're gonna gut the inside and redo a lot of the bedrooms and make it a little more user friendly for sort of a vacation type feel. We've got some great plans for some outdoor living areas. And we're hoping maybe to rent it to families if they wanna take vacation or something. That's a possibility. And that's another way you can kind of offset some of the cost of having a, a secondary home is sort of use it as a rental. So anyway, we're about to have a ton of projects. Me and Richard are gonna go step by step. We're gonna fix it up. And so this will be kind of a long running episodic event on the channel. This should certainly provide us with more than enough uh, activities for the upcoming year. Uh, probably a little too much, but just like everything, we'll get to it. This one I am super excited about. I can see it. I just can't wait till everyone else gets to see what we see. So that's the deal. Stay tuned to watch the complete island makeover. And I wanted to say thank you to all the people with words of encouragement. It's been four long years and a lot of heartache, but it was all worth it. He's finally here.
Oh, bless you. We'll see you next time.